Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in E4. This is Schizophrenic Sovereignty. Apologize for the uh, episode that missed normal release. I uh, was running a little bit behind. So yeah, um, I have not actually played this campaign in a few days. So I think if if possible, we're gonna maybe poke around down here and see if we can go bug this guy a little bit. We have access to the Timrids, but not through uh, whatever this guy is, Shamar. So, I mean, it would be nice. Looks like there is there is an active actual blockade out there. I don't know if we could if we could do something to this guy's army, then we could maybe make this war end a little bit quicker. We don't have a lot more time playing as Mr. Chugatai. I did also discover rather annoyingly that if you uh, if you reload the save with this this mod, the the tag switch mod, then you have to reset all of the settings. So that's fun. I guess I should just play in one big, huge setting, right? Just non-stop E4. So yeah, uh, we got like, what, four and a half years left? I'm assuming supply is awful. Okay, yeah, let's let's avoid some of that. 16, all right, we can probably get the army together then. Nice, nice, Deli. Okay, what's this all about? Yeah, 5% attrition with your whole army is smart. It's good. Sistan, seeds, land to... Afghanistan? Really? So, you're saying our enemy just gained land? Neat! That means there's new stuff for us to siege down. We should probably go get on that. Let's make sure that the leader's here. And let's see if we can... See, you're heading to Bust. He's probably gonna try to occupy at least one of them. Uh, I guess we'll try to run to the others and just see if we can maybe get at least one of the occupations. Any forts? No. Treason against the Chukatai. What? I, I didn't click anything, excuse me? Game just lagged and then, like, accepted something. Okay, fair enough. Is there at least, like, some loot to be had or something? We could... If he's not... Oh, he's gonna let me siege down bus. Cool. Alodia seeds land to Makuria. Very well. So, one thing I was considering is that we could actually attack... <laughs> I can't not say it that way, I'm sorry. But um, if we attack him right now, no one would protect him. No, it's not true. Sistan, uh, the last time I checked before I started recording, Sistan wasn't willing to defend him. Well, Sistan's a one province miner now, and that fort probably doesn't even have much garrison right now. Be low, easy to siege. So we could fight him, and that would pull us to war with Oirat, which would allow the Oirat pretenders to maybe be, maybe head over there. I don't know why they're not marching. I feel like there's a bug in the game, and I don't know if it's just me or, or what, but I really feel like rebels aren't marching around as much. Like, Oira pretenders, Oira is at peace. They currently occupy two provinces out of four. They need to occupy 51% to break the country on the next monthly tick. They only occupy 50% so they don't break it. And yet, despite having the, um, they don't have the capital, they should march to the capital, and, and yet they just aren't. I don't know why. We can look at the history. They've they've been here, it was occupied by rebels 1507. It's been, what, years? It's been years and years. Why aren't they moving? I don't get it. I'm confused. If anyone has an answer for me, uh, I would appreciate it. Debate over the philosophy of Ibn Arabi. Uh, move towards legalism. We like legalism. Yeah, legalism sounds good. Uh, let's move toward legalism, please. We might suffer a little bit of attrition, but if we do, that's that's fine because we have actually uh, plenty of manpower. Nepal is currently sieging this down and believe that they are allied to Delhi. They're in that war. So it looks like we want to actually go this way and maybe we can get to these provinces. It looks like we might. So we'll do... There's actually no looting there, so let's just go over here. Uh, it looks like Delhi has decided to, to block me from, from doing that. Oh, wait, no, he's leaving. Yay! My occupations! I get actual war score! What about Hormuz? Can we please have Hormuz leave the war? Nice, here comes Bengal to make me suffer more attrition. It's, it's very nice, it's good. Right, let's just not worry about the attrition. It is what it is. You know what, we got like 35, whatever. T plenty of manpower. Also, we should, uh... We are picking up a little bit of war exhaustion, though, from suffering the attrition. That is one thing to consider. And these guys are being jerks. And probably gonna go and occupy Chui. And my subject is disloyal at the moment. Can we make him loyal so that he'll actually go fight that army? Half his debt. How many loans do you actually have? How many loans is that? Two bank loans. So paying that off gets us 10% liberty desire. Placates another 10. That's 20. So I'm at 54. Um, 
<laughs> we can disable divert trade for now. Yeah, actually, let's let's let him have his trade power. Not, just let him. Just that's fine. Just do that, and then go fight that army. Thank you. Good job, Kazak. Look at that. Right on time with his one four leader in the step. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, Ming adventurers by paying tribute to the Emperor of Ming. We are part of the Ming trade sphere, and people can travel freely between our countries. We picked up a skill three trade efficiency uh, advisor of the Jihuangi heritage. Very nice. Uh, we're going to decline royal marriages right now because I think our relationships are actually kind of up in the air. Oh, hey, they're going to maybe even let me get that other province, too. That would be swell. Please, please, please allow it to be so. Yes. We have another mosque complete here. I was trying to decide if we should do any more development. Um, and also, one thing I wanted to maybe do was build to our force limit, if somehow possible. Because we've already grown by enough development to complete the build to force limit mission, which gets us a 10% development cost reduction in the capital area. And also three more development. And looking at the Renaissance spread, I was looking around a lot before I started recording. Um... Our capital is quite a ways off, but this province, Betchbalik, that we did some development in, would will likely have the Renaissance before our our time with Chagatai is up, which means we could embrace it, which would be nice. And we already have the Edict on to lower development cost here, so if we could get 10% more, and then just do like a click or two, we could actually get this to happen before 1520. So that's kind of what I'm looking at right now. You know what's kind of funny? Now that our, our our subject is already in battle, we can just take his trade again, and he'll stay stay in the battle because he can't leave because he's not allowed. <laughs> Stupid subject! I tricked you. I stack wipe, dude. He's amazing. That's great. All right, so they're actually letting me get some of the occupations in. That's that's pretty nice. So yeah, I have not been playing uh, very many games at all lately, so I'm actually a little bit slower than normal at uh, my micro and control and stuff. But I'll get it back, don't you worry. It'll be it'll be fine. Just give me like, I don't know, an episode or two and I'll, I'll get up to speed. Like a ball rolling down the mountain or whatever. Uh, thank you for making me suffer all that attrition. Uh, attrition. I really appreciate it. We have 10% war score. Um, Afghanistan, they were losing pretty handily. Negative 65 against Delhi. So I'm, I'm hoping Delhi pieces out soon. Um, and actually, if Hormuz were to lose their army, then that would cause them to probably peace out with Delhi. And if they peace out with Delhi, Delhi might break his alliances, which would be nice. And Delhi has got to have ridiculous war exhaustion right now. 2.5 war exhaustion for Delhi-occupied provinces. Just out of curiosity, we can look at, like, manpower and stuff. Uh, let's go with Force Limit, maybe. Jelly should be up there. Yeah, he's got no manpower. He's already murking up. All this attrition is just killing him. We could take an idea right now. I'm also kind of considering maybe just working my way up toward um, getting Tech 6 so we can build some workshops and farm estates and stuff. We're, we're kind of running low on options for things to upgrade that are decent. There's really no reason to sit on all of this money, though. Let's build at least two of these buildings. Keep about 100 ducats in the bank, I guess. Yes, lovely. Thank you again for the attrition. Appreciate it. Honestly, it's been so long since I recorded this campaign, I don't even really remember exactly what I was looking for with Afghanistan. I think I wanted to vassalize him and then use Reconquest on all this. Um, That would be very, very difficult to manage, though, at this point. Fortunately... They are, um, uh, shoot, I, I forget even where to see it. Where do we see if they're a horde? Right there. All right, they are not a horde, which would be nice. One of the issues with our current subject is that he is a horde, so he's just got a little bit of extra liberty desire from that on its own, 10%. So that's not good. Um, Ming demands tribute, fine. Can we get anywhere down here right now? Military access map mode, please. It's not a thing that exists. Well, fortunately that stack wiped army up north does mean we're in a pretty safe position overall. We don't really have to defend anywhere. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to just go and we're going to go occupy some stuff. I don't want to sit in this war forever. 
And we only have, what, three years left? So. Raise hosts. Alright, they currently expect to control 25%. They've got a lot of influence. It's all fine. Horde unity is decaying a bit. Being at war does help. If I remember correctly, you just have to have at least one active truce to not have the, uh, the really bad horde events fire. Thinking about also maybe lowering inflation a little bit. I don't trust the AI to keep inflation below 5, and 5 is the danger point, so... Uh, let's make sure that we at least get it down a little bit, just to keep them in a good spot. I did hire a military advisor before we started the episode today, because uh, I think we need monarch points. Alright, so we have an edict on right now over here that I don't know that we're going to still need. I was doing development of the gold mine because we, well, we needed the money. We've got 44% autonomy here. We could decrease it, it looks like. No, we've already decreased it. No, there was an uprising. Yes, we could decrease it if we were at peace. That's another reason to go to peace. We can get a lot more cash out of this gold mine. Hmm. Yeah, for now, I think we'll turn off the edict. Gives us a little bit of cash. And then the edict in the capital area. I think that it'll be at least a year before I actually do any development. Probably a year before we go to peace. So let's go ahead and turn on the protect trade one instead. Or, you know what? I probably should have done the uh, more muzzy separatists in the Timrids land. I probably should have done the uh, institution spread edict instead. Do we want obscurantism? Currently have national unrest of negative two. I don't think that I have any actual rebels, so that seems fine. Go ahead. Knowledge is power. Now we do have some unrest in one province. Tanu Uraya Kanaka has not here. Mamluks have accepted peace with Kara. Mamluks are getting owned by the Ottomans right now. That's right. We have to look around the world a little bit more. Oh, that's that's also right. Yeah, colonialism is in Ming. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens in like a hundred years to Castile and France and. Everyone, when they're all suffering like a 75% malice to uh, the tech costs. Alright, so we could go over the relationship limit, get a couple of little bits of military access through Mushashasha. He's literally, I mean, his name literally is Mushashasha. So don't give me that. Don't give me any lip, alright? At war with neighboring ally. Well, Shamar, quit being a jerk. Do I need to improve with you for a while? Is that basically what you're asking me to do? Don't worry about no guy. Well, um... Alright, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something just happened. Mamluks have accepted peace with the Ottomans. Mamluks seed Halab, Tarabalus, Al-Sham, Hama, Saida, and Hums. Mamluks revo revoke their core. Ottomans just gained a ton of peace. Uh, sorry, a ton of power projection. Luristan has accepted peace with the Timurids. Alright, fair enough. So what's it going to take for me to actually get military access through here? Gertai Khanet army strength plus 86 reasons. My Diplo rep is plus 3. Okay, um, I mean we probably should train a couple more troops soon anyway. I would really prefer to have more Cav, considering we have the step, step um, modifier most of the time. Although this is really a mountainous region. It's not as likely that we're going to get the, uh, the step combat bonuses. For now, um, let's go ahead and train a couple more infantry anyway, just because we want to recover manpower, and because also we need to intimidate the crap out of our subject, because he is a bit unruly. I suppose while we're waiting, we go down to like, say, 80% maintenance, make a little bit of money. Alright, should we do this idea? 20% cavalry combat ability coming up fairly soon. Right, so we're supposed to be improving with you. And on the off chance that that's not necessary, do I have access to other provinces right now? Could I just go like Mamluk Hejaz? I, I could. So we could go Kara, Mamluk, Hejaz, Mamluk into Hormuz from the west. It's a much longer route, but it's also probably a lot faster than waiting on the improved relations with this guy. Alright, I'll do that. We have to navigate our way through some rebels first. 
which is no good, but also saves us having to use the diplomat to improve relations with that guy. You know what, just in case, I'm going to save full maintenance. If, if we do randomly run into some rebels, like they could be marching into the same province right now. I don't want to go into there with low morale. Nice. Suffer some more attrition. And of course, this attrition will cause me to, uh, well, they, they actually did make it through before the end of the month, but this will make me suffer war exhaustion, even though it's completely unrelated to the actual war, because that's just, you know, how the game works. Our army is really far away from home right now. It makes me a little concerned. A little bit. All right, and then where was the province with the actual unrest anyway? I wish this thing would cycle through the provinces that have unrest. Tana. Tana, ba da ba da. Okay, uh, yeah, sure. We can we can park the army up there. Hopefully they'll be safe. And the, that army will not just randomly decide to start marching through my lands. Making me upset. We don't need access through Kara anymore. Means that we are currently at 5 out of 4 because we have access to the Mamluks, which is right where we need to be. All right, Hormuz. You have the same tech that I do or anything? Or in tech 8 to my tech 8. All right, we should be fine to just march in there with a 14 stack. Move more towards mysticism or legalism. Ashgar gets Sufi Shrine for a while. Administrative tech cost reduction. Sweet. We must not feed the local superstition. We actually have a fairly sizable amount of discounts to administrative tech, aside from the institution penalties. Yeah, we've got disfavoring Sufis, neighbor bonus, legalism, technology levels from Overlord, our ideas, the Hanafi from our religion. So if we could embrace Renaissance, that would probably do it. All we really need is it to spread into one more province, and that's probably going to be Bechbalik. I think I'll probably do the development make that happen before 1520. Also, since we're just using the like random tag switch mod, the dates are going to slowly get off over time. Instead of ending the campaign, this this segment of the campaign on January 1st, it's going to be March 1st now, and then it'll be April 1st. It's Someone can't do math, apparently. <laughs> they should have added an extra tiny little bit. Instead of just taking like 100 divided by uh, well, 10 years, 120 divided by 100 divided by 120, they should have done 120... You know what I mean, right? They should have rounded a little bit better so that the math would have worked out. So that it would actually be the right number. Alright, so we actually now officially have access to Hormuz. Finally! We've been on quite a journey, this army. Fortunately, we should get black flagged at the end of it, and we can just march, march home without having to to deal with military access requests anymore. Until January 6th. Okay. As long as we're continuing to improve relations with Kazakh. Bing wants military points this time. That's rude. I need those. Alright, Hejaz, I'm done with you. And it looks like we can avoid spending that extra Diplo point by actually cutting the Mamluk's relationship on the 29th. And we're suffering a lot of attrition, as expected. Let's just keep the army together for now. I mean, it's it's not a too large of an army for good loot. Well, it's not quite true. Considering that the province doesn't have enough loot left. Anyway, Tar, it's got gems, very fancy. Here's the highest development province that we can actually siege down. So we got these two are pretty decent, plus this one. Forts. There's a fort over there. Looks like we occupy Suhar in Nizwa, and then we occupy and besiege Musk, whatever it's called, and then that guy should want out. 
Fortunately, we suffered some attrition there. And then we failed to finish the siege. Cool. Hate that. I hate when you suffer a little bit too much attrition and then you can't actually finish the siege because there's like three people, six, six people are missing. They're gone and dead. So yeah, I don't know that we can actually vassalize Afghanistan. That might be way too much. It'd be very hard to keep him in check. Now that we have an occupied province here, we should still have um, sort of 10% recovery. We should have a little bit more. Okay, hold on. We've gained conquest. Travel conquest. Looks like something's happened. Yeah, we have 50% plus the maneuver speed, so that'll be fine. Afghan seeds Ro, Baltistan, Kashmir, and Ladakh to Delhi. Afghanistan returns course to Khorasan. Afghanistan and its subjects remove their claims from Delhi. All right, so they did do their peace. And Afghanistan still exists, but everything he owns is over here, putting us at 33 war score, which is actually kind of convenient, because now we own his capital. So as soon as we peace out Hormuz, we will be able to... I mean, it's a distant subject, but he's much weaker now. I think maybe we can keep him in check. All right, cool. I'm going to take a short break here. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Please do uh, let me know if there's like some bug I'm unaware of with these stupid rebels not moving at all. I, I just think that it's really weird, and I would like to know what I need to do to fix it. So... Cool. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching as always. See you soon.